You've Got a Friend in Me is just another way of saying choking hazard. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 infamous recalled toys. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at toys that were deemed too dangerous or inappropriate for kids after their initial release, resulting in them being removed from store shelves. <laughs> Number 10. Uterus Plush No, you're not looking at a mutilated version of Lumpy Space Princess. This plush was part of a toy line that turns human organs into huggable playmates for ages 3 and up. Based on that product description, you're probably not all that surprised to hear that the manufacturer, I Heart Guts, performed an emergency hysterectomy and recalled this uterus toy. It didn't have anything to do with the appropriateness of this unique plush, though. The killer removed the victim's uterus and its attachments. My God, he's out of his mind. It was discovered that if the fallopian tubes were pulled and the ovaries became disconnected, the toy could be a choking hazard. While the plush was still made available to adults, the creators committed to making a quote-unquote kid-safe uterus. Number 9. Pokémon Burger King Toys As part of a $22 million promotion for Pokémon the first movie, Burger King distributed a collection of 57 toys that came inside plastic Pokéballs. That same year, a 13-month-old girl suffocated to death after covering her mouth and nose with one half of the container. The Consumer Product Safety Commission subsequently asked the fast food chain to initiate a recall. Burger King was reportedly reluctant at first, but they were finally prompted to take Pokeballs off the menu after another infant got a container stuck on her face and nearly suffocated. A big kid's meal only cost a few bucks, but catching them all comes at a much steeper price. Number 8. Mini Hammock since hammocks are already kind of like cradles for adults, a miniature hammock for children might sound like a good idea on paper. When a hammock is twisted, however, it can be like getting caught in a giant spider web. So you can understand why net mini hammocks received their fair share of complaints. The most significant problem with this toy is that it didn't come with spreader bars to keep the hammock open. This caused children to get stuck in the hammocks, resulting in injuries and even death. Between 1984 and 1995, 12 children reportedly died after becoming entangled in these safety hazards. So in 96, 10 manufacturers recalled over 3 million mini hammocks. Number 7. Magnetics This construction set is comprised of plastic pieces with implanted magnets and steel balls that can be linked together. As is the case with many toys that involve building, some children were more interested in eating the pieces rather than playing with them. Swallowing plastic is one thing, but consuming a magnetic object is quite another. If a kid ingests more than one magnet, they can attract each other within the intestines and cause potentially fatal problems. The CPSC recalled magnetics in 2006 following the death of a young child and four other reported cases that resulted in surgery. Over 4 million sets were recalled, although this didn't include newer versions labeled ages 6 and up. Number 6. Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids Cabbage Patch Kids may look harmless on the surface, but these particular bad seeds are better suited for a playdate with Chucky. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? <laughs> snack Time Kids had one-way battery-powered metal rollers in their mouths, making it seem as if they could eat plastic food. If you're wondering how the food was digested, worry not. Each doll had a magic backpack. The Snack Time Kids sold like hotcakes through Christmas 1996, but there was one problem. They also had an appetite for human children. After numerous kids got their hair and fingers stuck in the doll's pie holes, the CPSC issued a recall in January 1997, and Mattel offered a refund of 40 bucks. Number 5. Sky Dancers What goes up must come down. Galoob should have kept this in mind when they manufactured Sky Dancers. Hitting the scene in 1994, these winged menaces could propel into the air with a pull of a string. As majestic and whimsical as they looked up above, the dolls needed more work on their landing gear. Sky Dancers caused over 150 reported injuries, including concussions, temporary blindness, chipped teeth, and even a broken rib. By the year 2000, Galoob had recalled almost 9 million toys. Some might have written them off as pretty and delicate, but Sky Dancers likely caused more mayhem than all of your G.I. Joes combined. Number 4. Aqua Dots 
Gamma-hydroxybutyric acid, or GHB, can be used to send people into a numb or unconscious state, earning it the notorious reputation of being used as a date rape drug. We bring this up because aqua dots were comprised of chemicals that metabolized into GHB. These colorful beads could create various different images in a plastic tray. Just add water and the little dots fuse together. When children started swallowing the beads, however, they suffered from seizures, comas, and potential brain damage. Shelby Esses didn't know. Her 20-month-old son, Jack, ended up in a near coma. About six hours. Very long six hours. Once people started to connect the dots, it wasn't long until 4.2 million of these toys were recalled. Aqua dots would later resurface in the form of Pixos, which were reportedly safety tested. Number three inflatable baby floats. Statistics show that more accidents can occur in the bathroom than in any other household area. The odds of having an accident likely increased if you bought one of these inflatable baby floats. This toy was intended to help toddlers stay afloat during bath time. Unfortunately, the plastic rings were known to rip and leak air, leading to a drowning risk. Otteru took their baby floats off the market when 54 seams were reported broken. Meanwhile, Aqualeisure recalled 4 million floats following 31 reported mishaps. Although nobody died, the floats left parents everywhere with a sinking feeling nonetheless. The only thing that would have made these products more unsettling is if the packages read, You'll float too. You'll float too. You'll float too. You'll float too. Number 2. Easy Bake Oven You know, there's a reason your parents didn't let you play with the stove growing up. And it turns out that even a toy oven can be a recipe for disaster. Most versions of the Easy Bake Oven have been perfectly safe, making it a childhood staple since 1963. However, one particular model seemingly came out half-baked. In 2006, Easy Bake Oven cooked up some bad press when 29 children reportedly got their hands caught in the latest model's front-loading door. Even after the product was recalled, 249 more accidents were reported, including 77 burns and a finger amputation. Who knew that a cooking device could be as controversial as a BB gun? Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Lawn Darts it was marketed as an innocent outdoor game, but lawn darts look like they were designed for hunting wild animals. Heck, you could even theoretically use them to hunt men. A rope, shovel, bag of lime, and some lawn darts. Players were supposed to aim these sharp missiles at a plastic ring on the lawn, similar to horseshoes. In multiple cases, though, they missed the intended target and instead hit an unfortunate person in throwing range. Following their initial ban, lawn darts made a comeback in the 1970s. Although they were no longer promoted to kids, that didn't stop a lawn dart from killing a seven-year-old in 1987. This was the last straw, influencing the CPSC to help guarantee that lawn darts never touch American soil again. What the truth was is that there were actually 6,100 lawn dart injuries treated in the nation's hospital emergency rooms since 1978. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.